Hello Holy Family, it is week 4 of the summer term, I cannot believe it's week 4 already but somehow it is. Um, so this morning's assembly I want to talk to you about being happy and happiness. Uh, before I do that, I want to refer back to this. Last Monday I spoke to you about 10 different aspects, 10 different factors, 10 different things that make you an outstanding learner. Now lots of you shared your work on Twitter last week. I say it every week and I will keep saying it. Thank you because it's brilliant to see what you're getting up to. Um, but yeah, which ones did you tick off last week? Did you tick them all off? If not, there's a challenge for you this week. Can you tick off all 10 in your learning this week? Um, yeah, or if, if you did it all last week, which one are you going to focus on this week? In which area do you think you could make an improvement? Have a think. Have a think and share your outstanding learning because last week we started sending home accommodation certificates. So every teacher nominated children in their class and if you got one, it was sent to your parents' email. So well done. Keep sharing. The more you share, the better it is for us because we get to see what you're up to. So happiness. Let's start. What makes you happy? What does it mean to be happy? Talk to someone in the room now. Go. Word happy. What does it mean to you? Three seconds, two, one, zero. Let's come back together. Okay, so happy, can we actually define it in one particular way? I'm not so sure that we can. We all know what happy might look like. Show someone in the room now what happy looks like. Show them your happiest face ever. <laughs> Probably had a big smile on your face, didn't you? Yes, good. So, yeah, to be happy, it's something that makes you feel good, doesn't it? It makes you feel good, it makes you feel happy. And if you watch the news, now, I don't tend to watch a lot of news because I don't particularly like it, but times like this, we all have to. Uh, if you watch the news, you may see that actually, and grown-ups might agree with me on this one, it's not always that happy, especially at the minute with coronavirus and the lockdown and everything else going on. It's not always happy viewing. Or if you read a newspaper or you read something online, it's not always happy, but there is a newspaper focused on happy news, and it's called The Happy Newspaper. So on my Twitter last week, I posted a link to some resources that The Happy Newspaper and Rising Stars have created, um, and it's all about being positive. So if you ask your parents, they can download that pack, and you can use that this week. Of course, we're going to ask you to share it to Twitter, um, but there's something else I want you to do this week. I would love it if everyone in our school could write... A newspaper article about something happy that has happened recently something have a think have a real think or something in your life that's made you happy can you write us a newspaper article because what I'd love to do is to print off everyone's newspaper article and to make a week four of the summer term happy newspaper for Holy Family but I need your help I can't do it on my own so this week, I would love everyone to think about something that's made them happy. We could focus it on something that's made you happy during lockdown, something you've enjoyed doing, but a newspaper article. Don't forget all your key features. If you're not sure, you can contact your teacher via Twitter, um, or when they call home this week, you can have a chat with them then about it. But have a think, what newspaper article could you write? And I would love to be able to make week four, summer term, the happy newspaper for Holy Family. Please keep sharing all your work. Cannot wait to see what you come up with this week. Have a brilliant week. And as always, I will see you on Friday.